Hello survey athletes. In this video, we will be discussing on the projected coordinate system. The projected coordinate system helps you to project a specific round earth model onto a flat surface or map. Projected coordinate system are created by projecting the 3D geographic coordinate system onto a two dimensional surface. The projected coordinate system tells the data on how to draw on a flat surface. There are many different map projections and each displays the earth differently. Some are good for preserving areas on your map, others for keeping angles or distances. The projected coordinate system places points on a two dimensional projection rather than using degrees to represent on a spheroid. These coordinate systems frequently express the x and y coordinates for particular points using measurements in feet or meters. Examples of projected coordinate system include universal transverse mercator, state plane coordinate system and Lambert conformal conic. Converting from 3D to flat surfaces may cause distortions. Depending on the project used, Different spatial properties will appear distorted. Now let us look at how to minimize the distortions in projected coordinate system. First one is the area. These projections preserve the area of a specific feature. The Albert's equal area conical projection is an example of an equal area projection. Next is the shape. These projections Preserve local shape for small areas. The Lambert conformal conic projection is an example of equal shape projection. The distance projection preserves the distances between certain points by maintaining the scale of a given data set. The equidistant conic projection is an example of equidistant projection. Finally, we have the direction. These projections Preserve the direction from one point to all other points by maintaining some of the great circle arcs. The Lambert equal area azimuthal projection is an example of a projection that preserves direction. No projection can preserve all of these spatial properties combined. Next, let us check the commonly used universal transverse mercator coordinate reference system. The UTM system comprises 60 zones, every 6 degrees of longitude in width. The zones are numbered 1 to 60, beginning at 180 degrees longitude and increasing to the east. The zone letters are labeled from C to X. The UTM coordinate reference system is a global map projection. The x-axis is called the easting and the y-axis is called the northing. Here, I am opening Google Earth to give a better idea of the UTM projected coordinate system. India is covered by six UTM zones to minimize distortion. The zones are from UTM 42N to UTM 47N. The N after the zone means that the UTM zones are north of the equator. Also here, we can see the zone letters from north to south. The UTM zone number, zone letter and the easting and northing planar coordinate pair in that zone give a position on the earth. Now let us try to locate a point in UTM projected coordinate system. For example, the location of the Taj Mahal is 27 degree 10 minute, 30.36 second north and 17 degree, 2 minute, 31.56 second east in geographic coordinate system. Let us convert it to projected coordinate system.
these are the converted coordinates we get utm zone number 44 and zone letter r and we get these as the easting and northing coordinates now let us take a quick recap first we discussed on the projected coordinate system followed by the distortions and finally the utm coordinate system with this we have come to the end of the video i hope you guys have got an idea of the projected coordinate system and how to convert a coordinate to a projected coordinate system those who are watching the video for the first time please like and subscribe we will be adding more videos weekly click on the bell icon so that you won't miss any upcoming videos and thank you for watching the video